In the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, there was a, one of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. The Sahaba radiallahu anhu, he migrated to a place called Himps in Syria, which is now known as Humps. Which, which is now known as Humps. And when he migrated to Hibs, the narration mentioned that he opened a shop. And one day a Christian came to his shop. And he wanted to buy something. And he said, you know, across the road is the shop of a Christian. And I've been watching since morning. Nobody's actually come into his shop. Alhamdulillah, I have enough to feed my children. I have enough to feed my children. Why don't you go to his shop and buy from him? So the Christian goes to the Christian shop. And after a while, he comes back to the Muslim shop. And the Muslim asks him, did you get what you wanted? He said, no, no, I've got what I want. I want something else. He said, what? He said, I want, I want this faith that you have. And he said, why? He said, don't worry. These are things that you don't rush. Take your time over. He said, no, no, no. He said, he said my heart bears witness that if this is the character of a mere companion of the Prophet wasallam. Then what must have been the character of the Prophet ﷺ himself? And then he embraced Islam. Omar, he was a khali for ten and a half years. His Islam spread as far as Pakistan, next to Makran, which is next to Karachi. Omar radiallahu anhu said four days before he passed away, he said, he said to Hudayfa radiallahu anhu, he said, I swear by Allah, if Allah gives me life until next year, no, Muslim, no woman in the Muslim world will need any man besides Umar ibn Khattab. I will provide for every single one of them. Umar said that I will ensure that the Bedouins in the mountains of Yemen will attain their allowance. Umar started what is called child benefit. Look, Umar was the most powerful man on the face of this earth. But he was a khadim. He served other people. The narration mentioned that a group of travelers came into Medina and Umar radiallahu anhu told Abdurrahman ibn Auf, I said, Abdurrahman, let's go and look after these people, they're travelers. Let me tell you who Abdurrahman ibn Auf was. Abdurrahman ibn Auf was one of the ten who was guaranteed Jannah by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was a multi-millionaire. Out of the Sahaba, him and Uthman were the most richest two. Who did, who did he say to? He said, Abdurrahman, let's go and look after these people. A multi-millionaire. All night they looked after these people. And amongst them there was this woman who had a child, whose child kept on crying. So Umar radiallahu came up to her and he said, you know, make your child stop crying. So she tried. Later on the car, child stood crying. And Umar radiallahu went back to her and he said, what an evil mother you are. All night your child has been crying, you've done nothing. So she didn't know that this was Umar Amir al-Mu'mineen. So she said, the reason, I'm, the reason the child is crying is that I'm trying to wean him off. Because Omar, she's speaking to Omar, she doesn't know this is Omar. She said, because Omar, Amir al muminin has said that every child in the Muslim world who stopped breastfeeding has an allowance. So Omar asked her, how old is your child? And she said, he's this, and she, he said don't hurry, don't hasten to wean him off. And then this man, the most powerful man from serving the people at night, went and he stood on the musalla, the sajada, the prayer mat. And he led the prayer. And Abdurrahman ibn Auf says, I swear by Allah, I could not understand what Umar was reciting in the Fajr prayer because he was crying so much. And then after the prayer finished, Umar turned around. He turned around and he, and he, and he said, Woe unto you, Umar. Speaking to himself, he said, Woe unto you, Umar, how many children have you killed because of your rule? And then he made it an allowance for every single child that is born in the Muslim world that he be given child benefit. Umar anhu had every person who could not work in the Muslim world had an allowance. He had care for people he knew, like Sayyidina Yarbu, who were blind, he had carers for them. Omar walked past a group of Christians who had leprosy and, he could, and, and they, had no, they had nobody to look after him. So Omar took money out of the Baytul Mal and he spent upon their medicine. He spent upon their medicine. And those who were not cured, Omar spent until, upon them until the allowance, until the day that they died. 
Umar radiallahu anhu saw a Jewish man, he was begging. And Umar radiallahu anhu called the governor and he said, why is this man begging all his life? He has paid his, he has paid his jizya, he has paid his taxes and now he can no longer earn himself, he has to beg. Now this was what the Muslims achieved in a period of ten and a half years because the Muslims had a vision.